So good evening to all students uh, those who joined today for this uh, fifth week of uh, online incubation program. Uh, the discussion or the topic which we are today taking up is on the financial literacy. This is not the very first instant that we are discussing about the financial literacy. During the Mission Sakti program too, we did the same. Uh, during the CSS program of all the students for the Afghanistan, I did personally for this financial literacy. And today again, we are talking about the financial literacy. But at all the at all the instances or at all the places, suppose there uh, we were discussing about uh, mission during the mission sector when we were discussing about we were talking to all those uh, ladies or the industry employees, women industrial employees, those who are not at all aware about the uh, financial uh, terminology, financial jargons, or financial uh, implementation. Of course, the basic uh, implementation on the financials tools. That is what we were discussing during the mission safety. During CSS uh, for the students, we were discussing about the gaps. But today here, uh, we will be discussing about what all is, all is required for the entrepreneurs to actually learn on for the financial literacy. And for that, uh, we have a very eminent speaker here present us. Uh, Ramaroji, please uh, allow me to read your profile first. Uh, he's a very good friend of mine, having a experience of more than 25 years or so uh, as a researcher and also an advocate in, in chamber practice for various uh, various other organizations. I must say he is a faculty, visiting faculty, social entrepreneur, organizer and good public speaker and of course a motivational speaker too. As far as his qualification is concerned, he did his BSc, uh, then he did LLB. LLB. He is also a member of uh, Karnataka Bar Association lifelong member of Ulbarga Bar Association. And he did uh, uh, MSc that is post version in two streams. Firstly, the information technology and the secondly, ecology and environment. And that is why he is talking more about uh, IT implementation, IT, IT intervention, and about the ecology and environment. He did an MPhil from computer science and did his uh, post version diploma in marketing and sales from uh, a very premier institute. and. Of course, he did uh, uh, certificate support in software quality and assurance from Indian Institute of uh, Science, Bangalore. As far as his uh, experience is concerned, he is an advocate in chamber practice in Goa. He is also an advisor at Investor Grievances Reversal Panel for National Stock Exchange. He is impaled as an independent in uh, director in the database of Indian Institute of Corporate Affairs, Government of India. He is CSR professional and of course um, visiting faculty for ICMR Goa, uh, ICSI and ICA Goa. That's how uh, he's been placed uh, as a panel member for ICC also. And very recently he is working with the uh, uh, Goa administration for uh, enabling various skill development programs through their employment exchange. That is how uh, Ramaroji is supporting towards um, his ventures, his uh, uh, support towards the government. And uh, as far as his uh, previous experience, how we got connected or how he's been associated to various other projects like uh, I must mention here, the project he actually uh, got uh, associated with and executed through Social Welfare Department of WCD, Karnataka State. Project he did actually uh, with the Ministry of Go uh, Monetary Affairs, Government of India, and of course, the WHO. So that's how uh, his journey has been so long. Uh, he's working towards uh, these, these organizations and these uh, highly accredited uh, um, academic positions he is into. So I'm just uh, giving the floor to him. Uh, Ramaraji, now you can initiate your talk uh, regarding the financial literacy for all our uh, Yeah. Uh, to repeat again, financial literacy is a very open-ended topic, very wide topic. And um, I again go back to the basics of uh, wishing you all good evening to all of you. To begin with, I will narrate a small real instance which I have encountered. Uh, my daily routine would be to purchase milk from a nearby petty shop, walkable distance from my house. Now I'll narrate the whole instance. So I hope you can hear me, sir. Pradeep, sir, sunai there, no? And I can. We can hear you. Uh -huh. Yes, sir. Now I'll continue. Now, this instance which I'm going to narrate will show you the emphasis of one part of the coin that is known as financial literacy. 
and the second part of the same coin is known as financial inclusion these two aspects are together always to tell you very frankly one starts and the other culminates and the best word i can tell you is financial literacy and financial inclusion complement each other they don't supplement each other they complement each other so the instance which i'm narrating is realistic every day morning i go nearby my flats uh, there is a petty shop wherein i purchase milk and one fine morning i found waha kuch saman nahi tha there were no materials inside then i asked the lady the owner of the shop madam why don't you put all the materials and all how much money you would be needing for all that uh, then she said uh, 10 to 15000 maximum 20000 uh, then i was bit wonder struck in a chota mota petty shop is petty shop in a small uh, Uh, Excuse me, sir. To me, uh, Rama Rao sir's yes. audio is not audible. Audio is not audible, madam. Really? But uh, I can hear. I can hear very nice. Madam, you log in. You log out and log in, madam. Probably it will come clear. This I have done here uh, two three times. Then it has become correct now. Shital ji, just uh, so, yeah. I, log yeah, in again. Log out. and log in madam ha uh, log in again totally log out and log in madam then it will set right and uh, you off the video and mute probably the bandwidth will be equally available for you yes sir so the instance is like this so when i told the lady to um, add uh, more uh, stuff into her shop then she expressed one important uh, aspect was she didn't have money so then it struck me that she was not aware of plenty of things so this is a this is to begin with you know her knowledge about finances and se- uh, seeking funds and this uh, this type of business is trading actually she is just uh, uh, selling small groceries the minimum format of any business and um, in due course of time i met her husband also then i asked him uh, the details about uh, the shop which they own they said this uh, the shop is actually owned by one of uh, her relatives wife's relative and uh, they are running the shop since years together uh, then i asked them uh, do you pay taxes and other things he said why sir kuch aisa serious kuch nahi hai sir they pay all the taxes and all that so that is one part of the discussion second is you know uh, sir the other part of the road the other side of the road you have all the banks uh, there is canara bank there is syndicate bank uh, axis bank all the banks are there bank of baroda is there everything is there sir why don't you go to the bank and uh, take a loan then uh, the lady said uh, then she kept quiet then i asked her another question uh, i asked her what your son is doing uh, then she said uh, my 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 son is uh, completed uh, bcom i was baffled then uh, next day you know this is in due course of time you know we come to know a lot about the family uh, the husband told me sir my gaadi bhi kharida mere ladke ke liye then i was like gaadi kharida means uh, it is not less than 70 80 80000 rupees new motorcycle then i was wondering see financially they are doing very well if not they wouldn't have effort uh, they could not have effort afforded to purchase a new motorcycle for the son and the contradiction was this uh, in fact i met the son also uh, the college where he is studying i to go there to do lot of seminars now i i distinguish two important things the financial literacy part is very low and the financial inclusion is also very low here the point is this the basic 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 knowledge about banking system is they are not aware and the son himself who completed graduation to me graduation is a very important qualification it really enhances the enhances the uh, opportunities of any individual to tell you uh, that is the best prerequisite to get loan for various other aspects by virtue of being a graduate but on the contrary the inclusive part of the family members in the family establishments is not correct so that's what i feel you know financial literacy percolating from the policy matters the knowledge that is dispensing but in fact i go to the second screen in fact it goes like this see this is a pyramid so top of the pyramid is a strategy for financial education say 2025 20 uh, 2025 big document so we have that big policy on the top of the pyramid but the impact of the knowledge that percolates down impact on the entrepreneurial bottom of the pyramid so we have to reverse the pyramid now talk from the bottom end so i will be dealing at the macro level then again summarize the whole talk into how practically you can have an effect 
effective financial literacy program. Uh, and I will give my conclusion after going through all the different different type of inputs that I have procured, of course, from the net and from the various regulatory authorities and from various experiences garnered. In fact, uh, to tell you very frankly, I am uh, pushing very typical formats of public private partnership establishments on social enterprising, um, translating it to uh, various incorporation procedures, then subsequently uh, advising about the financial aspects. So I will go through various uh, various inputs that I have garnered and collected them. And uh, the whole lot I will be sharing with Mr. Producer so that he can put it to uh, the other participants who can go in depth and probably we can create a very good uh, syllabus. So what I would see is, you know, I see a very fundamental level of financial knowledge necessary for any aspiring entrepreneur. And to tell you very frankly, that holds true even, even as a member of a family, we need to have some financial knowledge. Uh, that minimum things have to be there. Ignorance is no more bliss. This very emphatically I'm telling, ignorance is no more bliss. The more you feel you, uh, you, you do not know many things, then you're in deep trouble. Okay. So we will discuss the issues of financial literacy right from macro to micro level. Mean to say from the national policy level to knowledge percolating to an individual entrepreneur level. Okay. If you consider the whole process of financial literacy and financial inclusion, it's like a pyramid. So now we have to see how we percolate. So I go down to further slides. So I will be discussing in the following pattern. So financial literacy and its various aspects, various definitions, uh, national policies, RBI approach, uh, then banks approach and other things. I call it notes on financial literacy. That is my first part. And what I have garnered is it openly available. It's available in the public domain. I'm creating a syllabus now. Then we come to a concept of known as mudra loans. Then we come to another uh, presentation is bank loans in general in India without collateral. Okay, so we will try to link two and three and see how it works out. Then types of nine business loans that one should be aware of. Again, I have picked it up. Okay, then top 10 government schemes that provide financial support to startups in India. Then how to save for retirement while running a business. This sixth aspect is very interesting. And probably this should be the crux of the whole, uh, what do you call, the part of financial literacy, okay. Then seventh is loan repayment, various formats. Then national strategy for financial inclusion. Then my interpretation of financial literacy, again, we redefine the whole process, okay. Uh, so now I get into some of the other slides. So this is the, uh, this is the block diagram of uh, national strategy for financial education 2025. Okay, a multi-stakeholder uh, led approach for creating a financial awareness and empowerment in India. So uh, this is a policy and these are block diagrams. I'll get into the core content. Okay, uh, these are various ingredients of uh, national strategy for financial education. So we, we, we start discussing from the policy. Okay, so I come into another presentation wherein... Sir, you see it? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You can yes. see it, you can see it. Now, yes, now I'm going to share with you the notes uh, uh, that best word because a lot of information is available about financial literacy right from the grassroots to the top level. So let us see what, how much after going through, uh, uh, skimming through some of these important points, which I have again picked up from the uh, Google search itself and I have cornered them and various important uh, aspects. So one important, uh, very uh, what you call notable proverb is like this: money in the bank is like a toothpaste in the tube, easy to take out, hard to put back. It got to it. So Earl Wilson's uh, very practical saying. So it is easy to pick out money than put it back. It is something like you know, weight one day was weight utarna be bada mushkil hai, which I am really having a problem. So now we come into some some important points. It's like a question answer format. Okay, then what are the five principles of financial literacy? So according to Financial Literacy and Education Commission, there are five key components of financial literacy, earn, spend, save, and invest, borrow, and protect. Okay, so how can I get financial literacy in India? Way forward for financial literacy in India is a robust understanding of financial planning, knowledge of usage of basic financial products, uh, effective money management, debt management, prioritizing need for over wants, understanding effective investment instruments like uh, systematic investment planning, then understanding uh, equity, what you call EMIs. Okay, right. What is a financial literacy in entrepreneurship? So in business, financial literacy is a degree 
to which one understands important financial concepts and processes the capacity and confidence to handle funds of appropriate brief period decision making solid long uh, what you call long term financial forethought okay uh, no uh, no i am i mean i am putting food for thought so i am looking into financial literacy policy matters from various angles so around two three sheets i have maybe i will not cover all the seven sheets but very intricate points first two sheets deal with very crux very core okay so what is the level of financial literacy so india has a potential to be among the top financial lit literate country in the world as 27.6% of its population between the age group of 25 to 44 uh, continue participating in financial inclusion program through financial education so this is as per 27 january 2022 input okay why is indian financial literacy important fine financial literacy would improve the ability to manage one's finances in present still it would eventually increase personal wealth and protect oneself their families in emergency like pandemic of covid-19 secure a future for their families and better retirement plan so covid has taught us enormous lessons and we have seen the worst tragedies literally it, it it appears as if for no fault but there was a big fault in the whole system of course the health had failed but individually the families who could sustain the whole thing was because of good financial management okay so again that comes with financial literacy only so what is financial literacy financial literacy is cognitive understanding of financial components and skills such as budgeting i think a previous session we had a wonderful resource people who spoke on budgeting then investing borrowing taxation and personal financial management now this part of the statement is true for those people who have started commencing an entrepreneurship okay uh, got into little depth of the businesses probably this would be at that level so the absence of such skills referred to as being financially illiterate fine then what are the initiatives by the rbi financial literacy as defined is a combination uh, of financial awareness knowledge skills attitude and behavior necessary to make sound financial decisions and ultimately achieve individual financial well being again as per 2012 definition fine i would tell you that basically to be informed then comes the level of decision so one has to really open the eyes open the ears to be aware of what various financial happenings in the country right from formal banking system to so who need, who needs financial literacy the need for financial literacy is evidenced by the poor financial situation of the individuals say so drowning in debt without a budget plan i again uh, uh, refer back to the previous sessions where one of our uh, resource persons definitely spoke on budget and various formats and making misguided decisions about their money so this is a very ingredient point most of these poor financial behavior stem from financial illiteracy basic lack of understanding of financial competencies okay then how do you plan a financial literacy of course now that uh, uh, some of our participants who need this and some of our uh, the other participants who would uh, create a syllabus maybe to refine the knowledge and see that the, this has to be better um, transferred knowledge to be transferred and that in the format of financial literacy so learn how to budget the first step to gain financial literacy is learning how to budget understanding your credit score it's very important to understand your credit score that's important uh, of course we should know the obligations and liabilities once you start a establishment uh, we are corners turning on entrepreneurship okay and of course i would uh, i need not be gender biased i would say women of course as per the topic we have in general any every beginner needs to have some substantial level of knowledge so open a savings bank account or a current account depending on the format of business that you are doing understand loans secure your future reduce spending i think this 3 4 5 6 are very important okay what are the three main components of financial literacy the three main components of financial literacy is again budget then dedicated savings absolutely well then uh, prevention of uh, identity theft now we come into electronic format now we have come into digital format so why is financial literacy so low in india which is of course a lack of knowledge that is uh, that has to be percolated this hand holding is very important in financial literacy you know i too have attended plenty of sessions but nothing better than when we cornerstone so for example self help group 
of members of 10, 15, 20, 30, we hand hold them, then the knowledge sticks to the mind. Or else, uh, most of the sessions, uh, of course, sessions are excellent. But what remains back is um, very difficult. Mass education, I doubt if it is really effective in uh, financial literacy. Then what is the best example of uh, financial literacy? Although there are many skills that might fall under the umbrella of financial literacy, popular examples are householding budget, learning how to manage and pay off debts, and evaluating the trade-offs between different credit and investment products. In fact, I have seen many... Uh, Many highly literate people, highly educated people and who are uh, very good in their profession got into huge debt trap and probably in their case that because they had uh, the advantage of having visa or uh, those uh, credit cards and they lost control over their expenditure and they ended up spending more than realizing that their earning and spending were never together. They were never matching and most forgotten fact was the savings. Okay, you know, I always say you should always earn and save for a very strong rainy day. Uh, that is how when you are dormant, it will help you out. So there are uh, six ways of improving financial literacy. Uh, subscribe to financial newsletters, listen to financial postcards, then uh, read personal finance books, use social media, start keeping your budget. Okay, then five principles. What are the five principles? Earn, spend, save, invest, borrow, and protect. Fine. Then again, through RBI, I'm just uh, making our foundation very strong about uh, financial literacy. Yes. Again, now you see uh, the process of the questioning keeps repeating itself. Then why? what is OECD, INFE? Now, this is a broader policy matter. And uh, OECD and its International Network on Financial Education support policymakers and public authorities to design and implement national strategies for financial education, individual financial education programs, while also proposing innovative methods for enhancing financial literacy among the population. Fine. Savings is a very, very important component to define the strength of any country's financial background. It starts with the financial literacy at the individual level, at citizen level. Okay. So what is the difference between finance and financing? As known, finance is management of money and other assets, while financing is transition that provides funds for a business. Okay. Now, almost I think we are sharpening the definition of financial literacy. So, what is finance in a company now? Any entrepreneur under the format of a company, then uh, for he or she, uh, finance would be, financing would be the process of providing funds for business activities, making purchases or investing. Okay. Then, uh, what is the lifeblood of business? So, finance invariably. Uh, its sources, and for various activities okay then what are the types of finance public finance personal finance corporate finance private finance now we are going into a broader aspect what are the major sources of finance commercial banks indigenous bankers then uh, trade credit installment credit advances now we keep on this list increases keeping into present day ten, ten, what you call uh, availability because of the digital mode we get even crowd funding electronic format of funding in fact uh, you don't uh, nobody needs to watch you but they have to understand you probably funds flowing okay what is finance in simple word the process of raising funds or capital for any kind of expenditure fine then uh, sources of finance equity debt debentures retained earnings term loans working capital uh, working capital loans uh, letter of credit euro issues okay venture funding larger format okay now, we come back again to the fundamental definition. As per 2021 financial literacy, what was the motto and the theme? It was go digital, go secure. Yes, go digital is very fascinating. And of course, you should be secure too, uh, which is uh, equally costly. You know, buying security is not easy as sudden. We have to be as careful as possible. Okay, we all have been victim of uh, being negligent or ignorant so go digital is very fascinating very interesting and uh, in fact i i, I too experienced uh, difficulty in going digital during nick of the time my digital transfers never worked in fact uh, as of now today we have seen uh, network failure so these are a uh, very obvious factors so at that time how we go secure these things we have to look into then uh, what is the theme of 2021 financial literacy week organized by rbi yes 
now i am coming to various regulatory definitions how they have handled this financial literacy in a different format so credit discipline credit for formal institutions fine so each have their targets you see banks have their targets you know we as freelancers have our motto about financial literacy then policy itself has a different notion okay so the concept of financial inclusion uh, again now it is a complement to financial literacy okay so by reserve bank the objectives of financial inclusion are to provide the following a basic no frills banking account for making and receiving payments uh, saving products including investment and pension fine this is one after the format of literacy comes the actual implementation that is inclusion okay but in my first example i i actually meant inclusion is the family members also have to be included into the format of the businesses which the members have started so when there is no inclusion there is bound to be little suffering uh, as i said to you that happened with the petty shop where i was uh, handling uh, my purchases so uh, about financial inclusions will definitely go back once again okay so so that is about how i brushed up the total the literacy format so financial education financial literacy so different definitions for it okay so now i get into uh, another presentation now i come to the core core arguments about uh, say, say mudra loans okay right now mudra loans of all banks i have picked up so this i cannot create this is this is available so what here i would look into whatever matter is there the crucial block diagrams we will discuss of course this whole matter will be shared with you all so that you can refine your uh, financial needs as per your business requirements okay so we have mudra loans and i am looking for uh, the best diagram if it is there okay right sir ji aapko screen dikha de raha na sir i can see yes sir in fact you know when i was discussing with one of many of my qualified students uh, in fact the institute of company secretaries is located uh, above a particular bank i tell students watch what is written on the board and now i realize you know financial literacy is you know really liking into it so now uh, say some some formats of loans which i would like to tell you there is a target given to the banks they have to exercise these loans but these loans are never uh, never properly understood i will go through the glimpse but i will tell you something which is not written here so that this can be better translated okay so nature of credit is offering as a term loan or working capital okay so this is say sbi e mudra loan okay. purpose is capital for startups modernization of existing units expansion of unit purchase of equipment and machinery purpose is defined then eligible borrowers entrepreneurs looking to set up new business or by established profit making entities to expand their business fine the applicant should be between 18 to 60 fine there is retirement age also here fine the reason is after 60 the security of this loan would be very different okay so it is difficult to define so they have limited to 60 okay the deposit the uh, what you call deposit account should have been active for a minimum period of 6 months so you should be an active account holder of a particular bank this is an example of sbi almost the whole banking sectors have the same format i have picked up one typical example and of course i have even translated this as an opportunity to many of the people but the fundamentals will get back to it first i'll go through the policy matter the rule book okay the quantum of loan maximum loan amount is 10 lakhs then sishu kishor and tarun are the different loans available under this format okay so sishu category is loans up to 50000 so kishor category loans up to 50000 to 5 lakhs then tarun category loans up to 5 lakhs to 10 lakhs fine so repayment tenure is 3 to 5 then processing fees nil for sishu and kishor loans 0.5% loan amount for tarun okay then margin nil for loans up to 50000 then 10% of loan amount from 50000 to 10 lakhs 
then interest rates linked to mclr so this is negotiable rates of, rates of interest with the banks okay so that is this collateral security no collateral required however as a primary security hypothecation of term loans and hypothecation of stock and receivables for cash credit fine this is a very very good format very interesting format now what i would connect with this format to my example which i quoted is the petty shop owner why couldn't she take up this issue category of loan wherein there was no collateral required only one important criteria was there is she should have her account which has been active for minimum 6 months i mean active and this particular point when i asked her she told me she had an account which is not active then i asked her what do you do with the transactions jaise ki aapko dhande mein paise aate hain you receive amount because of sale of product then how do you she said no i don't go to bank here comes real format of literacy i don't say it is beyond books it is deemed to be understood that this type of finance management of even a small business is absolutely wrong and most important thing which that lady has never done of the petty shop she never maintained any books so as a matter of fact even if the loans provided by the banks is collateral free the most fundamental requirement of any person who seeks or any business that seeks loan would be you should maintain books of accounts correctly at least at least till the date you have been from the date till the date current date you have been running your business nothing better than as much as possible say 2 years 3 years and this should have been audited even even if the business doesn't come under taxable income no problem they should get the accounts audited there is a small fees that needs to be paid to the expert who is authorized to audit now comes here format here another format of financial literacy is every qualified bcom candidate with little experience of even one year can definitely do audit none of them do it so i really wonder what bcom students are able to understand their own advantage of commerce graduation wherein they are authorized to render field level services for bookkeeping auditing and even filing of taxes at you need to open a bank account second you should have the bank account running third you should have the transactions going and i told that lady of the petty shop why don't you go to the bank and do your minimum transaction say 1000 2000 you are having a rolling business nothing better than telling the best example is she purchased a brand new motorcycle for her son who is a bcom no financial inclusion so this is the format of financial literacy i am emphasizing on rather than big sessions talking about financial management to the level of capital markets debentures my god that is not at all required that is not at all required fundamentally speaking concentrating on a very very important level that is msme which is almost 30% of the gdp of the country and crores 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 of msme are registered in our country. entry and many of them fail fundamentally because of one prominent reason lack of proper financial literacy subsequent financial management and hence they get into a trap of debt they don't know how to plan so definitely they have to undergo through the basic things now you see the fascinating part of this particular mudra loan which comes under issue i think you know every every format of service oriented industry or uh, msme sector can avail this loan but only thing i repeat the fundamentals have to be strong you should have opened an account probably a current account or a savings bank account and should be doing all the transaction through the account and the nearest bank we have various formats of banking sector actually cooperative banks are there and regular scheduled banks are there they are they are they always welcome but nobody does this 
okay and you see there is hardly any processing fees and i'll tell you very frankly the banking sector has a big target they have to render loans to the following people who approach them but the people who approach them don't come with the credentials correct okay so that is one then uh, the payment is there then the daily cash withdrawals of sishu is 10000 kishore uh, format of uh, loan is 15000 and tarun is 20000 then the point of sales limit is 15000 25000 30000 i have personally met the beneficiaries of such people who take such loans and uh, i'll tell you uh, the results have been fascinating they are doing very good business on an average i would say the normal turnover would be 4 tax 4 lakhs to 10 lakhs per annum sufficient to manage a house and what are the prerequisites to get into this you need an id proof residential proof bank statement quotations for proposed purchase of equipment or machinery photographs cash certificate business proof uh, income tax documents okay so yes file of tax there is there is a big you know bad no bad, very bad notion amongst all the businesses basically uh, people begin with uh, when uh, they don't file their returns uh, yeah you you don't have to show you you have a permissible level to pay tax only after you uh, have that level of profit because taxation starts only when you earn something if not all your services are being taxed under gst so that becomes a prerequisite to the banker or to any financial institution that gives you money they feel the confidence there okay so this is about the mudra format yes sir now uh, can we have a, a very small open forum of discussion sir pradeep sir i request all if you have any queries or uh, if you Yeah. you can uh unmute yourself and discuss discuss yeah yeah the, yeah the earnest participants now i have redefined what is financial literacy i will tell you very very frankly this it's, is it's the a rock bottom cyclic format i see uh, ramarodi it's a very cyclic format and uh, yes best part out out of this loan or that mudra loan is a very minimum eligibility is actually been set by government of india but yes, uh, yes, i do agree on this that we we as an uh, entities we as an individual not a, even filing all the um, uh, what you call statements and even the uh, many of the organizations many of the msmes they are not going for audit also so that is how once they go on for asking to the loan and the uh, organizations or the sbi or the banks they are asking for uh, produce your audit report even yes, been, sir, yes, sir. been into the csr i, I can very well vouch it on that i am asking to the organizations is there anything uh, uh, available with you for that audit report for past 3 years all are saying no we don't have uh, such reports with us because they are not filing it actually and once yes, they are yes. not filing it yes. how yes. Yes. you can yes. actually think for that organizations or the financial institution will actually give you the money it means yes, you you yourself is not actually interested for that correct correct and and one more thing sir this whole uh, format of the initial loan system is without collateral no guarantees nahi to guarantee ka kissa 10 15 saal pehle was very serious problem very serious problem now you have really availability of funds are in various format so that is why uh, that is why i feel you know venture funds cloud funding comes with stronger verification that is why when we talk about big loans and the two ventures where they don't have their collaterals at that time the equity debt would be very 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 costly very costly because the person the investor who is putting amount blindly only believing your concept not looking into your books so the equity share required by then that investor would not be less than 30% so i was myself wondering why this uh, angel funds and all easy said then they are costly because of one thing they don't ask you the fundamentals but i would tell any any msme sector now i would uh, i would uh, suggest the ladies uh, you know uh, in my further slides i have defined uh, in my further slides i have defined what are the you know the beginning of any business i don't want to talk businesses under the company format they are uh, not they are totally different with a background of strong experience and uh, wonderful backing company format but when we look into entrepreneurship under msme format first absolute understanding about banking system 
and all the available facilities and i would like to use a very important word priority sector priority sector mudra loans and its various formats are priority sector to social banking which is top on their list but for that any entrepreneur should have the credentials perfect it should be perfect you need not pay tax but you should have your books of account and subsequent auditing done now if you feel if a chartered accountant is very costly and unapproachable or you don't understand what a ca would be needing you can approach any bcom student now i am talking about financial literacy which i spoke now financial inclusion is we need to have responsible authorized person every bcom student is eligible to go ahead with auditing bookkeeping they don't do i would say all bcom students should never miss this opportunity probably even any normal bcom with running knowledge of the subject matter which they do it in 3 years graduation is not a small program so in 3 years they can take up this work why do they hesitate or else they have uh, they, they need to be motivated into earning i can tell learn and learn learn and learn and for you your peer is there your chartered accountant will do the finalization he will do the final signature so balance sheets would be very easy for any bcom student that is what i insist so i am talking about two aspects the fundamental level of financial literacy again i repeat absolute working knowledge of a bank then second inclusive part inclusive part is inclusion part is entrepreneurs and their family members should be involved you know right hand should not be pulled up by somebody else and left hand should not be pulled up by somebody else and legs are pulled out by somebody else no sir establishments never survive it should be a chorus and second you should understand the authority is responsible for various aspects for certification every graduate every bcom graduate is eligible so i would say our literacy should be more emphasis on the field so i always tell bcom students you have abundant chance and uh, what you call businesses having a turnover up to 10 lakhs we have plenty i would say micro level absolutely micro level and they are transitionally growing they can grow again back to fundamentals they should have their audited reports and bookkeeping to the perfection okay so what do you say sir your comment sir pradeep sir see uh, thing is uh, we don't rely on our, uh, on the services usually uh, once an entrepreneur is starting any of the enterprise he or she is not going and taking the support of those mentors or the uh, ah. or the hand holding uh, or the people those who are best for those fine holding activities they don't actually go for those things and once they get stuck up uh, in their journey then they actually go for all those things ah, then they are uh, uh, by that time that time uh, there will be a uh, you can say a lag of one year or two year or three year or so so that is the biggest hurdle we need to actually ask all the students all the entrepreneurs the learners that start from the day one that you have to go for this you have to learn for this the financial inclusion and the financial literacy for your business not for the loan only for your business actually yeah. correct sir correct sir sir now what i will do is i'll skim over the other uh, other interest Slide. Definitely, I'm going to share with you. Uh, so the uh, in India can avail business loans. Okay, I'll just skim over this matter and definitely put up to you. Uh, it is something like you know you gather information, then you choose which, which would be the best one for you. Say small business finance. Okay, then uh, government schemes. Then uh, uh, Anupama scheme, uh, Bharatiya Mahila Bank uh, business loan. Then Mudra Yojana scheme. Then pradhan mantri rozgar yojana then udyogni scheme then uh, mahila udyam uh, nidhi scheme okay then instant online business loans are there uh, plenty of uh, uh, different participants financial institutions do that then loan against securities and government bonds okay now this is very critical one should have really created securities and have invested in government bonds if not that could have been a source of loan okay then you have this gold loans okay so th this is one you know very simple i would say but again i come back to uh, i come back to the basic definition what type of business you want to do so that also is very important now i come to a very catch word so msme loans the first choice for any small business okay 
so the uh, say the interest rate starts from 8.5 percent again linked to uh, what you call uh, floating rates of the banking sector which is defined by terminology okay and it is very flexible again loan amount 50000 to 50 crores yes that is true then repayment tenure 5 to 10 years then loan types term loans working capital loans equipment loans uh, line of credit uh, bank guarantees vehicle loans see the loan types is directly proportional to the format of the business you have incorporated or best word registered so processing fees for loan processing is 0.5% to 5% okay then uh, uh, how are msme loans different from other loans okay they are backed up they are backed up in various formats so i would tell you the crux of msme loans is there is a credit guarantee scheme available under msme this is a very important uh, factor that i would like to tell if not again this msme loans again fall back to the financial system see msme is a definition okay uh, medium small micro micro is i would say all micro services trading and all that when you look into manufacturing then you become uh, small or medium so the format of the loan differs and the level of financial knowledge is also is slightly elevated from level to, level one to level two to level three that is how we say okay so msme in msme there is one important aspect that one should go into it that is you know credit guarantee scheme it is something like insurance to the financial institution in case the entrepreneur fails to repay the loan for a stipulated period after that it becomes non-performing asset they say after four to five months so this credit guarantee scheme is something which you should pay i would say subscribe for it in your loan for which the banking institution will definitely say you should bear the burden the the, the financial institutions will never take it i hope this point pradeep sir am i right sir in msme there is a very important crux the baseline credit guarantee credit guarantee is a subscription for which you pay it is like an insurance paid by the borrower the financial institution which provides loans will definitely be very happy to render this loan because for them there is a format of insurance under credit guarantee there are Sorry. there are two uh, things have, yes there sir. are two things actually once we talk about the msme loans uh, firstly that uh, credit linking is there and secondly, now the government have uh, government of India has started performance linking also in this. So it is more ah, yes, sir. it is more like that. How good you are to repay your loans? Firstly, the credit link is like such. Yes. And the second performance yes. link is what exactly the your services or the uh, uh, product you, which you are making. That is the performance of the entity based on the your revenue sharing or based on your revenue generation, there will be a, a credit rating and based on that, that particular credit rating, you will be getting the loans or the support of the loan by government institutes yes. and is financial institutions. So these two are different things yes. which yes. government have, has initiated actually. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So definitely any, any financial institutions would definitely give to a properly registered business entity under MSM. That is the best format available today. So the format of registration uh, as per the old norms were proprietorship, partnership. Now, nothing better than MSM because acceptable pan-India format. Okay. And I'll tell you, MSM registration is purely online. Another big fascinating, the advantage of being digital. But you should have your credentials perfectly verified. Your business establishment location should have minimum five years rent agreement that is the prerequisite to begin the transaction of business msme related activities and subsequent credit facilities then your lines are open okay not less than five years 11 years rental agreement is not acceptable so a genuine genuine msme sector definitely has access to very uh, cost effective loans that, that is very important okay so I, go, I flow into another slide. Again, in, uh, in the further talk, we'll uh, summarize everything. Okay. Then bank loans in general in India without collateral, I have redefined it. Okay. So again, uh, you see all the various, again, mudra loan is collateral free only. You only have changed the heading and uh, I have written here mudra loan. Again, I have re uh, redefined. So it is, you know, the same liquid with different brand names. But ultimately, the bottom line of the whole argument is, loans given without guarantee 
very fascinating and here sishu loan repayment period 5 years then kishore loan 50000 to 5 lakhs discretion between the borrower and the lender that is the bank okay then tarun again uh, 5 lakhs to 10 lakhs without collateral provided you have your base credentials perfect so i will tell you the base credentials become perfect best is when you are under registered under msme sector any banking sector will be very happy any 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 lender would be very happy to give you give you loans in that format okay right again uh, the schemes to provide financial support uh, for this uh, startups are like this startup uh, india it's it, to tell you very frankly as a professional it's a very big subject lot of amount is flowing around but the criteria to fit into the startup okay uh, is bit cryptic you know probably we have to go in for a bigger elaboration and understanding of this okay so who are extremely earnestly desirous then they get into the startup and subsequent benefits privileges under startup okay so support entrepreneurs in creating okay a lot of um, scope is been defined under startup but the policy is still not percolated okay then we have uh, atal innovation mission that is for those uh, innovative level uh, almost like you can say inventions okay then e business portal is there then support for international patent protection in electronics and information technology then this is i, I would rather tell uh, for, for qualified uh, technical uh, manpower uh, they can use this criteria wherein they are innovative products can be registered and subsequently be funded then then multiplier grant schemes okay then credit guarantee fund trust for micro small uh, establishment then software technology part known for rooftop solar pv power all energy resources is a subject and lot of enter enterprising activities are done under that so various loans at a very affordable level and a convenient level is being provided then new generation innovation entrepreneurship development center okay then dairy processing now in entrepreneurship there is known as agriculture and related areas that is also very fascinating for that uh, as an individual one can go in okay or one can explore by a group of people uh, farmers then i call it a producer company concept okay so that these are these are more of the uh, various schemes you know plenty of schemes see th this is broadly speaking i call it a macro it's up to again hand hold and tell what you are suitable for so all that information will never get into the mind so since some of our participants are expert also here what we have to do is first we broadly understand and we serve that particular part of the meal to a particular hungry entrepreneur that's all that is what i would say now i come to a very important presentation how to save for retirement while running a business so save money invest wisely then uh, diversify your portfolio plan to exit strategy well in advance then take control of your debt okay then bottom line so what i would suggest is you know if you invest even say 2 to 3% of your regular income into savings and there are various formats of savings available okay and uh, there are you know there are times when uh, your income has crossed the taxable uh, permissible limits after that you are supposed to do a certain level of saving for which you can claim exemption up to 20000 rupees i would suggest go for that saving and such type of saving has a lock in period for next 5 years you cannot open it up but remember if this habit goes on for the next 5 years every 6th year you are getting back your amount which you saved 5 years back which you can use it for various other purposes but then it was tax tax free because that was that format where you can so an exclusive session on how to save money so that that money which would be very useful for you during a rainy period during a difficulty time so i would say insurance to your life is your savings and the real insurance that you should buy is health insurance which is costly as a matter of fact but definitely it also protects the families so i would say when you are in an organized format of doing businesses all your permissible insurance payments get accounted into your format of expenses and you are eligible for requisite exemptions so your taxable amount definitely becomes less since you have very methodically invested in various aspects so what i would say is 
you have an idea you start a business you incorporate under a very convenient format msme sector okay then you see what are the cost effective loans available for you the normal banking system is the best one always target your business to a convenient manageable level and third as you earn so also you should start saving so also you should start saving and in the meantime of your business have a continuous thorough relation with the bank the advantage is your gradients liquidity gradients can be elevated to next level after 50000 it is 50000 to 5 lakhs then after 5 lakhs it is 5 lakhs to 10 lakhs and i will tell you understand up the amount that is available under priority section is up to 200 crores so this is the best way to go ahead with the business plans okay so and correspondingly the need of your finance knowledge again i put it fundamentally financial literacy also keeps on expanding since your business is growing your knowledge level also grows this becomes by virtue of intuition you learn it and because of your continuous interaction with various professionals like the experts who take care of the regulatory authority compliances uh, what do you call uh, liabilities and obligations of your businesses interacting with uh, say the qualified chartered accountants company secretaries advocates fast accountants bcom people who are registered as practitioners this is one set of knowledge that you derive by your continuous touch and the banking sector because of your continuous flow of handling definitely they encourage you because a bank's business is to lend money who refuses to provided they have the sense of confidence in you okay and of course there is a little sense of public relationship uh, ship that has to be maintained well by uh, the entrepreneur you know you should always invite people to your business establishment so that the confidence level really flows back and probably your level of businesses may increase of course contacts do help in business it is obvious so banking sector once the level once they are very confident they they themselves will give you some advice okay so that is uh, one particular aspect sir so now uh, the, the emphasis is very larger on inclusion so i don't uh, segregate the subjects you know financial literacy and inclusion is part and parcel it are two aspects of the same coin okay so i start with the family and the individual itself so the individual should be literate enough then the family should also be involved into the business and so there won't be any such problem so here i would say the my interpretation of financial literacy is like this sir this is directly related to the type of businesses that is being registered or going to be incorporated the legal formats for business registration is either under msme or incorporate under companies act okay then the level of financial literacy definitely is more intricate the depth of it increases as your level of businesses is registered and it grows okay the formats of businesses generally are like this you know approachable business within the means of understanding in trading servicing and manufacturing this is how i simply put in <coughs> in trading i would say the bigger format is certifying and forwarding agency distributorship dealership retailer reseller franchisee agency and we can go on trading has a broader but these are the major umbrellas you know these are the supersets and subsets of a trading activity uh, and it goes up to a level of you know selling old goods we call it selling okay when we talk about servicing i come to the fundamental from tailoring then uh, electronic servicing catering etc and you can keep on increasing and remember the size of business also its requirement of money also keeps on increasing then manufacturing then uh, then i would add uh, in in your presence agriculture related areas yes here here also there is a huge huge access of funds now for example the most minimum is uh, dairy uh, what do you call uh, dairy farming and here i never mention 20 30 40 cows even 2 3 cows more than sufficient few goats are sufficient so here nabard definitely caters now the bigger format for this if around 10 actual farmers pool together then you are defined as a producer company so here the definition of msme is much much more different so since you come under a producer company maybe 10 or 20 of you with a very normal level of investment say 5 to 10000 rupees that becomes your corpus amount and you start handling under the format of a producer company the uh, the approach line from the agriculture financial institutions nabard basically is very warm they welcome it 
but this has to be properly defined so I always go back to the fundamental what type of business you would like to do and what is the level of incorporation or registration that you would like to do and how you classify the activities correspondingly your financial literacy and of course the participating level of your family member inclusion that i would call and that is how the metamorphosis of business that is from beginner to success that is how it is it happens and of course the, the, the other experts can always fine tune and i very strongly suggest universally flatly it will be on a general format general discussions are one end but when you start implying the financial literacy knowledge then it is very specific very defined depending on the need of each each business which is different okay so uh, that's it you know i have totally redefined uh, what is financial literacy if not and the policy matters all big institutions conduct very large level of programs and i too have been a participant i wonder now for example i am a computer expert so for me the financial needs differ in, in fact i had incorporated a company for another enterprising person then we had a depth study what are the correlated areas in the field of computers that can be classified under msme so i would tell you msme classification is best keeping in view all in any format of your business because every trade every activity is defined under msme and subsequently there are a lot of advantages in format of loans advances and maybe um, to the level of human venture capitalists who will give you low cost loans okay and banks giving you co what will collateral free loans so that is how the literacy format should be okay so that's it sir before my uh what do you call broadband gets uh, disrupted uh, sir summarize it sir and i will share with you on the email sir all these things we are they are large in number but definitely we can create a big syllabus so that we can uh, uh, help our other beneficiaries or including the participants to redefine the literacy format and we can we can go with this you know it is a continuous flow and i will tell you one important thing most of the businesses i would say 80 percent failed on it is a hard fact kadwa such a bit truth you know the no sooner they start uh, very soon they fall in all because of the depth of literacy which is wrong ab jaise ki a businessman is handling uh, uh, what do you call income and expenditure and he is sitting in the counter wo apne khud ke drawer se paise nikal ke kharcha kar deta hai there is no format so i will tell you complete manners required you know financial manners required in running a business is equally important you know that is the core content of financial literacy you one's own behavior with money when money keeps flowing on a particular day by virtue of a, you know a very sunny day and a very good business activity but by the evening you know expenses are beyond the control you know the worst of it is a digital format if you have a credit card you finish you get into uh, what you call a disease of uh, shopping uh, buying those things which you feel necessary are actually unnecessary so this happens in businesses also so that thrift habit what is there, that has to be learned you know so earning saving being thrift okay and having a very disciplined process probably there cannot be a downfall even in the worst of the worst uh, uh, conditions i know you can float back and uh, stay ahead and having uh, what your years eyes opened up you know you talk less you gather more information so that uh, you, you also have diversification portfolios in your versatile business activities you know businesses can be as versatile as possible okay again a class about trading then you call services manufacturing and when you come to agriculture my god the scope is splendid and uh, when you define your jurisdiction you know we, we should think local first that is the most important thing you think local then you start going to the nearby areas wherein your product can reach the ends reach the demand okay uh, if not the demand supply would be a big mismatch and probably there is huge opportunity and you are not able to encash it okay so that's it you know financial literacy apparently is very simple subject but uh, thinking very seriously it is a very serious subject depending on the levels of businesses and the formats of businesses one is going about because even on day to day basis when i talk to my uh, fully consultants are in this field we have big big broad based discussion about you know how to organ how to register the firm then subsequently go for funding not the other way around go for funding then think of business no sir your business defines the financial literacy and then and over that comes the umbrella literacy financial literacy sir ji for your final comments sir
Yeah, thanks, thanks, uh, Ramaraji. Of course, whenever we are into the business as an entrepreneur, it's not only that we are running a business; uh, we are actually into earning the money. But with the simultaneously, it's not only the earning money; uh, it's about how to uh, on how to actually learn the process of investing, how to learn the process of actually generating the revenue, and. Uh, of course, it's not only the generating the revenue. We we talk about the generating and generation of revenue by means of actually managing that particular revenue which we generate. And last but not least, the the way you actually said uh, um, or the, you said your views that is to save to save not for you to save for those bad days for your entity, yes. your entity itself. So the planning yes. is like such. And whenever we talk about the financial literacy in regard to entrepreneurship, in regard to all the entrepreneurs, this is always for generating the revenue, for managing the revenue, for uh, managing the uh, fund to actually come in, for um, using that or utilizing that fund to come in. And then, of course, lastly, for the saving. Thank you. Thanks to Ramaraji for supporting you, this drive, for actually coming up here and talking. Speaking to all, all our um, young entrepreneurs, those who are actually on board. Thanks, and I'm closing for the day. Namaskar. Thank you. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much, sir.